Alright guys, just a video here. iPhone 4 freshly jailbroken. Let's go into settings. As you can see right there, the MC610LL. I'll focus it in here for a little bit. Okay, as you can see. Now, freshly jail, freshly restored, no jailbreak whatsoever. Nothing. It's bone dry stock. I mean completely. I just restored it in iTunes. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Okay, so there's Red Snow right here. So we're going to open up Red Snow. This is the latest and greatest one they just released. This is for Windows users. We're going to go down and we're going to go to Properties. A lot of people, I don't know if they have the same issue, but I'm going to run it Service Pack 2. XP Service Pack 2, that's what I always run it in. Click Apply. Click OK. Okay. Let's open it up. So let's close out of all this. Let's open this up. Okay, so now I'm guessing what we're going to do here is we're going to hit jailbreak the normal way. Now, read this right up here. You don't have to make sure your phone is off, but it helps. So I'm going to see if I can get this in DFU mode with one hand. So let's see here what exactly happens. Let's go back down to the phone. Let's make sure I can get this. Okay, well, we're going to try it. And if we screw it up, we screw it up. So let's click next. So we gotta hold down the power, the home and power. I think I just screwed that up. But home and power. Just keep on holding it. Release the power and just keep on holding the home button. And we'll see exactly what happens here. So now on the computer, it's identifying, it's exploiting, it's doing its thing. As you look on the phone, it's completely black. And now we go back up to the computer. It's waiting for a reboot. There's the phone. Okay. Here we go. It's jailbreaking it. It's patching kernel. Now this is the one with the newest and latest greatest red snow. So now, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to install Cydia. You don't want to do any of this other stuff unless you need it. So I'm going to click next. It's waiting for a reboot and then you go back down to the phone and there you go so now it's jailbreaking it it's doing its thing as you can see right up there okay let's go back down to the phone This is the first time I've ever ran this red snow, so we're going to see exactly what it does here. Okay, so now while this is doing this, you will see this up on your computer. So it's done. The rest of the process will take place on your device. So we go back down to the device. It looks like this. Now remember, just let it do its thing. I always keep my SIM card in the phone while this is doing this, <clears throat> just in case. Um, sometimes a lot of people don't, and then they run into issues, or it'll pretty much it'll go to right about there, and it'll just stall out and completely stall out. So I keep my SIM card in there just for doing this process. So a SIM card is in there. We'll see exactly what this is doing. It's moving the application right now. So I'll just wait here. I know on one of the red snows this actually moved pretty quick. So we'll see exactly what this entails. So actually I'm going to go up to the computer here. So that is done. It's done. Okay. Let's just exit out of it. Let's go back down to the device and see exactly what it's doing.
There we go. Now it's starting to move a little bit. So now it's rebooting like it normally should. Your computer will recognize it as soon as it pops up. And then once this does its thing, you should have a Cydia icon on your springboard. And then I would make sure you're on Wi-Fi. Don't do this on 3G because it takes forever. So let's open up the phone here. Okay. Now let's move over. There it is. Probably preparing file system. Nope. Straight to it. Sweet. So... I'll let it do its business. I wonder if this one has the updated city of 114 instead of 113. So as you can see I have blob saved for days upon days upon days. So we'll see here. Nope, it looks like it's the same old city. So So we'll just let it do its thing here. And this is pretty much pretty simple on a PC. That was pretty simple as you can see uh, how to jailbreak the iPhone 4. And this jailbreak works for the 4S, iPad 2, iPad 1, every iDevice on 5.0.1. So we'll let this thing finish doing what it's doing. So there you go. Yep, completely freshly restored. So that's how you jailbreak the iPhone 4, every iDevice on iOS 5.0.1 using Red Snow Untethered, as you can see right there. So we are done with the video for now. I'll have another video that actually will show doing installing Winterboard, installing SB settings. Uh, I'm going to do a video straight from scratch because a lot of people still don't understand. So we will see you guys on the next video.